And if you haven't yet heard, the Lego Masters show has a local connection. Philip and Maria Strassman from Kentwood are still competing with a chance at that top spot, getting closer and closer. They both join us this morning, but we're going to start with Philip. Good morning, Phil. How are you? Good morning. I'm fine. How are you? I'm well, thanks. Hey, top seven. Congratulations. Talk about Thank watching you. yourself on television. Obviously, you've already completed all this stuff, and now you're watching yourself. What is it like seeing yourself on TV compete in this competition? It's a little strange because when you're first there, you know, filming the show and having that experience, um, you're viewing it very much in a first person viewpoint. But now being on the show and like watching it live on TV uh, or watching it record on TV, uh, you're very much watching it a third person. So it's a little weird, but there's a lot of things behind the scenes that we don't get to see, especially interactions with the other teams that we actually love. And let's bring Maria into the conversation as well. Maria, uh, tonight, bricking wind is happening. Something about a huge fan. Can you tell us a, a little sneak peek of what to expect? Yeah, so they have this huge industrial fan on set that they're going to use to try to blow our sets over. And uh, it, it was a really crazy and exciting and different challenge that something we've definitely never done before um, I don't think any of the fans in our, our house would probably blow that fast. So <laughs> uh, it'll be a fun and exciting different challenge for everybody to watch. All right. So something to withstand a hurricane. Those Legos got to be strong. And Maria, uh, how are your fingers holding up? <laughs> <laughs> I have to tell you, my nails were very short during that entire time because they kept breaking. <laughs> I believe it. I can only imagine doing these quick, quick builds. Phil, let's talk a little bit about some of those builds. I mean, the parade float, the remote control car, the hat. What were some of the most challenging ones to build? Yeah, I think the tower build especially was really difficult to build uh, just because the sheer amount of like the short period of time and the sheer size of the building itself and just having to constantly keep up your what we call bricks per minute uh, is really intense and your fingers do start to hurt after a while. And not only are you trying to build something that, you know, it can withstand like the shake table, for example, for that build, uh, but you're also trying to make it look kind of cool. So uh, that was definitely the uh, most stressful time, I think, in that specific challenge. Um, we're getting a great shot of Maria wearing that. <clears throat> incredible hat. I mean, that is, uh, yeah, that's a two-handed hat to hold that up. That is a huge one. What do you, what do you, Maria, let's talk about that. What, what has been the most challenging part of the show when you were on it? What was the hardest part? I'm, I'm assuming it might have been coming up with what to do in a short amount of time. Uh, yeah, uh, coming up with your ideas is definitely one of the hardest parts, just trying to figure out what are we going to do that's going to be big and exciting and creative. Um, but probably my most challenging moment was walking that hat down the <laughs> runway because uh, it was very, very heavy. <laughs> I can only imagine. That's a lot of Legos on your head, Maria. And Philip, what about yeah. you? What, what's been the most challenging part for you? Oh, man, I think coming up with an original idea constantly and then trying to execute on that and then fighting the clock is always the the biggest challenge for sure. Um, but you're always trying to kind of one up yourself each time. So, for example, for that hat, we really wanted to do lights in the hat, right, which is just kind of a weird concept. Like who puts lights in the hat? We knew that nobody else was going to do it. And you're, again, you're at the competition. So you're trying to come up with something and think of something that nobody else is going to do. And I think being with that hat challenge and when you showed the hat a second ago, we thought it was really funny too and we like to have humor in our lives and uh like putting a hat on top of our hat we figured no one else is going to do that either so it's just part of who we are and being goofy and and uh kind of blend that through well keep keep the goofy going for both of you we wish you both the best of luck and everyone here in west michigan is rooting you on trying to get that hundred thousand dollar grand prize and of course the title of lego master philip and maria strassma thanks for the time Thanks. Awesome. Thank you. Absolutely. Lego Masters Season 2 right here on Fox 17 every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. You can watch Philip and Maria compete on tonight's show.